Hi Earth Science, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see who's coming in towards you, okay? So what will your next major relationship will be like, um, who your next lover is. This is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading from, with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, take a look and see who is coming in towards you and what will your relationship with this individual be like? Well, for some of you, interestingly enough, it could be someone that is already present in your life or someone that you have connected with in the past. But you guys, you're currently not communicating. There's no contact. There's no communication between the two of you. In fact, you might have even blocked each other. You might have even ended things with one another. But there just may be an opportunity in the future to revisit things between the two of you. Revisit the emotions reconnect and a possible reunion it's interesting energies here i feel like for some of you i'm picking up that there's a bit of a um, stressed out kind of energy here what's going on either this is someone who is present in your life who's you know who's caused you quite a fair bit of stress who's threatened your peace of mind um, or it is going to be a bit of an emotionally complicated relationship, okay? But I think it will be worth it in the end. Two of Swords could very well um, indicate to us that you might have to choose between two potential romantic lovers who I feel like you'll have a connection with both, which will make this decision all the more difficult because to me it feels like you're really going to have to weigh up, you know, um, which one you see building a future with, okay? Which one is maybe more compatible with? Uh, it feels like you might potentially be confused about making this decision or it could be this person that, you know, is coming in towards you. Maybe they are the one that is going to be ha is going to have to make a decision between yourself and someone else. So, it feels like, you know, the water here represents emotions in the background and the suit of swords traditionally associated with the mind and the intellect you know governs uh, mental energy so it's telling us that someone in order to make this decision and in order to make a right one they must use both their head and their heart weighing up all the options i am seeing that the connection is going to be quite complicated and will and the islands in the background represent the obstacles that are going to be put in your path here so for some of you you could be doing long distance with this person to begin with okay hence the complications you know the obstacles for others of you it, it feels like this is someone who's a little bit emotionally blocked this is someone who doesn't they don't like discussing their feelings they're not comfortable discussing their feelings they're not good at discussing their feelings um, and therefore they like whenever you know the topic of emotions come up this person puts their guard up or they might even resort to blocking you okay because Especially when things get a little bit difficult, I feel like your person just, you know, is not able to emotionally express him or herself and instead will block you to avoid any further conflict. This person that's coming in towards you, this person is going through a, a very big transformation in their lives. They're going through a lot of changes, a lot of big profound changes here i'm also seeing that this is someone who if this is a past energy okay this is someone whom you were connected with in the past that i'm seeing that the both of you will need to let go and release the past 
because you cannot write a new chapter if you keep rereading the old one, okay? And if you keep looking back, I mean, look back to the past by all means, but use it as a learning tool. Don't look up, don't look back and beat yourself up about, you know, what you didn't know, what you could have done better. Use it as a learning tool. But it, to me, it feels like you're going to have to make that transition from, you know, whatever happened or whatever went wrong if you want to build a future together. So, you know, death is all about endings, but also about new beginnings, birth and rebirth, you know, change and transformation. And there is a beauty in things coming to an end because it's such an inherent part of being alive. And things ended for you or things ended between the two of you for a reason, okay? Maybe you guys need a time apart. Maybe this person or yourself needs a time to grow. So it just feels like for a lot of you, some connection is being reborn and it does feel like it's a past energy someone whom you although you had a lot of feelings for this person it just didn't go the way that you wanted it to go here death is the most positive tarot card in the deck believe it or not um, and it feels like you know in order for the two of you to open the door to this new romantic chapter you must close the previous one so put the past behind you okay and be ready to embrace the new chapter here so death ushers in pro the promise of renewal and transformation for you and this energy here otherwise if it's a new connecting energy i'm just seeing that this person is going through a lot of necessary changes they may be experiencing some pain emotional physical um but it just feels like they're going through change transition transformation here they're also clearing away the old them so they could build a healthier happier and most authentic version of the new them um, there's a lot of it's a lot of positivity and cleansing and transformational force in their life is taking place. The two of you are going to meet very suddenly, very unexpectedly. Okay, so communication might strike up very quickly. This person might enter your life very quickly. It just feels like your paths. If it's a past energy, your paths will cross again quite quickly and unexpectedly. Um, if it's a new energy, it just feels like there's some sort of unexpected surprises about the way that you, the two of you meet. This person is a um, quite spiritual. I'm picking up a very spiritual, very um, or very religious. Um, it also feels like this. This is someone who's going to be very supportive, or who who is like your biggest supporter. You can always, you'll always be able to ask this person for help and rely on them. They are there to support you. They are, they will always be there to let you know that you know they got you. They feel like you got you're such a blessing in in their life, and um, in turn, I think you're going to try and you're going to try and help them see things a little bit more positively because they're not overly positive, is what I'm seeing. They're a bit of a pessimist. Um, they maybe worry too much, or they're just uh, very closed off. Okay, they could be prone to like negative. Um, beliefs or emotional patterns, but I think you're going to have quite a positive influence on this person. Your connection is going to be quite a journey with this person. Your connection with one another, this, you know, romance. Um, I think the two of you are going to get pulled in different directions because I think there is going to be complications, but... Um, and you're going to get pulled in different um, directions. And there is going to be times of the connection when you're both going to feel out of sync and out of alignment with one another. And when you're going to have to sacrifice a lot for the sake of this connection. But the chariot tells us that if you really commit to each other and commit to building this connection, the two of you are going to be very successful. Okay, it's a type of love that... It's a type of love that you've always wanted. Not all of it is going to be healthy, but the unhealthy parts about each other, about this connection, is what's going to help you grow, what's going to help you understand more of each other and what you know and help you evolve here. Um, it's a type of love that it feels like it's going to be transformational. You know, yes, at first they may have a lot, of, a lot of insecurities and they may you know keep you out and they may you know 
block you okay there may be blockages there but it's a type of love where in time I feel like this person is going to risk looking vulnerable and feeling vulnerable and risk opening the risk opening the door to their heart here in order to deepen the intimacy with you it's a type of love that is going to be very transformational here it's very healing as well it's going to change your life but you you're both going to have to commit to each other it's that commitment to you know building each other up to loving each other it's you know, it's being respectful and open and non-judgmental and accepting of one another. It's a type of love where you can, you know, really reflect um, on your on each other's inherent strengths, so that you can navigate the world and the complexities of, you know, um, love and romance. It's a type of. Let me tell you, if the two of you stick together, it's a type of love, um, type of a connection that you're gonna love retelling to people. And it may, and I'm just being honest, it's not going to be, I mean, it's not all going to be positive and, but it is something that you can commit to. It's something that's going to transform your life in a very non, like in a very monumental type of way. This could go on to become a very safe, secure relationship. It's going to take a while to get there. But allow yourselves and each other to be part of the process. Because that's what's going to offer genuine healing and growth to one another. Okay, guys, um, I think you'll be a very positive, uh, I feel like you'll be a very positive influence on each other, okay, a very positive influence on each other. And especially for those of you, this is a past energy and you're connecting back with this person, I'm seeing that you're leading from a place of love, you really are. Um, I, I think it's the both of you are destined for transformation and this is why you know it, love love transforms and if it's, it's all yours if you want it honestly very powerful here I'm seeing that it's going to change the both of you from the inside out very profound okay guys and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please share your support by liking sharing subscribing to the channel bye for now